Hi, I'm Molly with West Virginia University Extension Family Nutrition Program, and today we're going to make homemade strawberry gummy bears. I've already washed my hands and cleaned my cooking surface, so I'm all ready to get started. For this recipe, you only need a few simple ingredients. We've got some honey, a lemon to make lemon juice, unflavored gelatin, and the star of the show, strawberries, or really any fruit that you want to give a try. So our first step is to wash our fruit, and then we're gonna dice it and have two cups of our diced strawberries. I've got my two cups of diced strawberries, so I'm going to add them to my blender. And now I'm gonna add my honey and my lemon juice. So I'm gonna take my lemon, roll it on the counter, that kind of frees up the juices. And then usually half of a lemon is about a tablespoon of juice. One tablespoon of lemon juice. A lot of times when I cook with honey or peanut butter, if you spray whatever you're measuring your honey or your peanut butter into with a vegetable oil spray, it slides right out. Really make sure you get all of what you're putting in your measuring spoon or cup and it makes cleanup a lot easier. Now I'm going to blend this up. It's very liquefied. I'm going to use a strainer and go ahead and put it right into our saucepan over the strainer. That'll just catch any seeds. Um, and especially if you use like raspberries or another fruit that's seedier, this, is, this would be an important step. You want to be sure if you're making this at home that you get your parents' permission and help in using the blender, the stove top, any kind of sharp knives. You want to have fun in the kitchen, not have some kind of an accident. So you can tell that I'm kind of helping work this through the strainer. But since we're making gummy bears, you don't want a lot of those seeds or anything in it. So I've got my strained strawberry juice in a saucepan and it is um, cold right now on our stove top. I'm going to add in our gelatin Gelatin is at the, in the grocery store right above the flavored kind. It's usually on the top shelf. And um, this is a box of four little packets. And you're going to use two packets. And we're going to add that to our juice mixture. And then bring our juice mixture up to a boil and whisk it constantly for a few minutes. My strawberry juice mixture has been boiling and I whisked it constantly for a few minutes. I took it off the heat and now I'm gonna fill um, my little squirt bottle with the juice 
and then fill our gummy bear. Okay. I found my mold at a craft store. They also have them at some of the big box stores. They have all different shapes and sizes. If you can't find the gummy bear size or you'd like to try a different one, there's lots of different ones available. I also found the squirt bottle um, in a big box store as well. But this is just something that uh, would be fun for kids to do squirt it into your mold I've got my gummy bear mold all filled up and ready to go I'm gonna pop this in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes and they're gonna set up and then when they're all ready to go we're just going to pop them out and enjoy our homemade gummy bears. Okay, our gummy bears have been solidifying in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes. And now the fun part. So you're just going to flip them inside out and they pop right out. I also found this cute fruit mold that has cherries and strawberries and apples. So with some of my juice I had left over, I filled them. And this would just be a really fun activity to do. I'm gonna give one a try. Mm. That is so good. I really hope you give our homemade strawberry gummy bears a try. Try it with a different fruit, different mold designs, and it really is a fun activity that's fun to do and really tasty to eat. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.